France, it's totally legal to be naked in public. Au revoir. Why don't you do your parents a favor and base jump into a job fair? <laughs> that thrill seeker is Chase, and he's a triple threat. He cliff dives, cliff jumps, and cliff flips. <laughs> to throw himself off mountains isn't extreme enough. He had trampolines and full frontal nudity. He's like an Instagram model, but he doesn't have boobs, so he has to risk his life in beautiful places to be liked. He has over 58 million views, and I can guarantee every single one was a little let down when it didn't go horribly wrong. If being addicted to adrenaline is a real disease, how come I can never find any adrenaline junkies in the men's bathroom offering to blow me for a roof to jump off of? <laughs> if you think adrenaline feels good, you should try opioids. Oh, now that's an addiction. <laughs> Chase may look young, but he's actually 95 in cliff diver years. <laughs> so before his inevitable death, I flew him to Hollywood, where the biggest adrenaline rush is a phone call from Ronan Farrow in this week's Celebrity Profile. <laughs> Namaste, Chase. Your journey has led you to me. Come sit on the mountaintop. I specialize in teaching adrenaline junkies such as yourself that spiritual balance is as important as actual balance. Thanks for having me. Oh, oh. All right, enough of this hippie bullshit. Let's jump off this mofo. All right. Three, two. Chase? That's right. Where are you from? Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Oh, nice. You make your living off of jumping off of shit? That's right. How old are you? 25 years old. You have any close calls? Oh, plenty. Is it worth it? Oh, yeah. I love it. You ever been seriously injured? A few times. The one I saw you, your, your lungs look like they filled with blood. That can't be good. No, I wasn't that serious. All right, what's the most serious injury you've had? I was in a snowboarding competition, had a compound fracture, tibia fibula, Bones sticking out, foot facing backwards is brutal. So when did you start filming yourself for these big, just base jumps and or cliff dives? Most recently, the last three years, but even as a kid, I took my mom's camera out, I'd climb the roof and jump off. Have you always been good at flipping and stuff? Oh yeah, I'm really comfortable in the air, I love flips. How do you know when you need to straighten out? Like either you hit the ground or you just know. The trampoline one, mm. you over-rotated. Yes. A quarter over. A little bit. Do you watch a platform dive in the Olympics at all? Nah, not so much. I don't like Speedos. Well, it's weird, because you go naked all the time. <laughs> did you invent the salmon? I did. Salmon! Salmon! And just cup your balls, and then yeah. shake your legs? Yeah, flail like a salmon. Uh-huh. You try one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I, I feel like, like I'm doing it. Yeah. Now, on the salmon, normally, your, your preferred is to stay covered, go in head first without putting the hands to break. Exactly. Sometimes you have to break. Sometimes, but very rarely. The worse you land, the better for the salmon. What about uh, in testing how deep the water is? The best way is to get a bunch of guys all swimming out there and depth checking, swimming down, making sure there's no debris, okay. rocks, trees. This one time I saw you throw a fucking pebble over. Yeah, sometimes you just got to feel it out. But that doesn't do anything. You can't tell how deep it is by throwing a rock off. No. There's a depth check, check the depth, or a death check, and that's just jumping, not checking. Oh, man. But you don't want to do that. But no, it, no. it happens every once in a while. Yeah? What's the most beautiful place you've ever jumped? Have a suit by in the uh, Grand Canyon. It's an Indian reservation. There's a beautiful 125 foot waterfall. Turquoise blue water. You jumped 125 feet? Yeah. With a shoot or no? Oh, no, just into the water. Is that possible? It was. You have to wear tennis shoes? I blew out my asshole. Oh, oh you hit the water. Pink sock? Oh, yeah. Do you know what pink sock is? Well, I Look can it imagine. Up. Look it up. Do you think you'll die peacefully of natural causes? Ironically, probably. Do you have a will prepared? Yeah, I've got some stuff written down. Do you? Yeah. Oh, that's good. Are you worried about that or no? I'm a little worried about it, but. What's yeah. the end game? Don't die. What scares you? Everything. Uh -huh. Nah. <laughs> um, actually, I'm scared every time I jump, but I just control that fear. I know what fear to look for, what's positive fear, what's negative fear, and I kind of just 
calculate everything and if it's worth doing risk versus reward. How do you learn to base jump? Initially, you want to start off skydiving. You can get a mentor, you can learn from, or you can just jump off stuff. You talked about your mentor. Yeah. Passed away. Doing a jump with you. Mm -hmm. What, was that a base jump? Yeah, it was a base jump. Did he do something wrong? We added too much complexity to the jump, and we took too long to open the chute. And... Did you see it? Mm hmm Holy f Have you jumped since? Yeah, right after. Did you feel like you had to? Yeah, I felt like I had to. I, I knew I had to do it right away. That's how I feel when I do a flip into a pool. Sometimes it stings, like I'll hit my thighs, but I'll get right out of the pool and I'll try it again. What's more enjoyable, base jumping or cliff diving? Base jumping. That one at Trump Tower. You don't pull the chute for yeah. so long. Is that when you're supposed to pull it? I was planning to do a six second delay, but with the flips, I didn't really calculate that I would be falling quicker. I got a little low with that. Yeah. A little bit. So if that chute doesn't open, that's it? That's it. There's one chute, one chance. That's so, so, so crazy. It was a swimming pool down there though, so you know, no. maybe I would have pulled it off. Have you gotten in trouble for any of your jumps? Yeah. What do they do? They just harass me. They try to charge me with trespassing. and It depends where it's at. You haven't gone to jail, have you? No. Sometimes in your videos you say, send it. Whoa! Send it! Now, do you know Larry Enticer? You guys silly? I'm still going to send it. <laughs> Yeah, you stole that. No, he, you no. stole his. No, I was before him. Larry and Tyson <laughs> is the original Senate. That guy's got nothing. You give him that. You, your jumps are beautiful. <laughs> oh, we'll give it to him. We'll give it to him. Uh, That's why I changed it. Oh, you did change it. I don't say 3, 2, 1 Senate anymore. I say 3, 2, 1 titties. 3, 2, 1 titties. Titties is mine. No. I did 2009 on the show. You look up titties and Tosh.0. Nothing gay about that. Titties! <laughs> if all your friends jumped off a bridge, would you? I don't know, I'd be the first to go. That's a pretty cool answer. <laughs> you want an adrenaline rush? Try Google Roulette. What's that? Oh, it's a great game. You trade computers with your buddy, right? And then you Google the worst things you can imagine. <laughs> like, how to kidnap a federal judge. Or, uh, should I butt my neighbor's cat? <laughs> Quickest way to radicalize myself. These are just ideas of things you can Google, okay? How to dissolve your dead wife's torso in acid after you kill her on purpose. Hate crime legality by state. How to chloroform your children. What gets out dead person smell. How to discreetly poison your neighbor's wife. That one's a personal favorite of mine. Or can a nine-year-old get pregnant? Sounds like an adrenaline rush to me. Hey, we've been falling for a while. How deep's the water? Oh, there's no water. You feel alive yet? <laughs> What's wrong? Oh, thank goodness. I had the worst nightmare. Holy shit! Prayers really do work. <laughs> you just salmoned my wife to death. Another man on top of my wife. I believe I just got cooked. <laughs>